This is the Folio Society edition of the Brown Fairy Book by Andrew Lang. Now, the Folio Society have been publishing uh, one after the other all of the fairy books in the collection. There are 12 in total. And the Brown Fairy Book uh, was one of the later ones. And uh, while the Folio Society have been publishing some of the earlier ones, um, the, the Blue Book, the Red Book, the Green Book, the yellow book um, uh, quite regularly. Um, some of the later ones have only had one publishing and uh, this is one of those that has only had one publishing. And I think it's a terrible shame actually because I think it's one of the nicest ones that there is. Uh, the illustrator, Omar Rayyan, is absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you some of his illustrations in a moment. This uh, this cover is by him uh, and, and it's it's quite inspired, actually. I think it's uh, it's just really, really gorgeous. I particularly, I, uh, sorry, <laughs> I particularly like the fact that it's got gold on the back, um, which really goes nicely with the um, the, the blue and green and, and and red, which also have gold on the back. Um, I've been tempted to get the pink and the yellow, but they've got silver on the back, which is great but if I only get one of them then I've got all these <laughs> gold spines um, and and just one you know um, uh, uh, silver spine which is kind of going to stick out so that's uh, that might be a consideration for you uh, in terms of the construction of the book I mean it's peerless of course it's peerless it's so it's folio society we expect nothing less it's um, it's they are one of the greatest bookmakers around at the moment this is the um the the uh the end papers uh, which is kind of um mirrored on both sides we've got various beasts that appear throughout the different stories within there we go really really beautiful and then uh yeah so on the first page we've got this terrifying <laughs> dragon in black and white, and uh, yeah, so so Omar Rayyan uh, peppers the whole book with these various black and white um, illustrations, along with uh, I think it's twelve or thirteen gorgeous uh, color plates. really like the textures on this you can really see the um the care that's been placed in every single area of uh, of of the painting is it's just really really gorgeous so this is an illustration from a story called Kisa the cat um which which I'd never heard of in fact I'd never heard of any of these stories uh, have a quick look at what the titles are maybe you will recognize some of them i'd be surprised uh, but um, but maybe one or two of you will um in fact that's one of the many reasons why i i decided to get this despite its um it's it's rather high asking price nowadays um i i you know while i'm delighted to have the usual cinderellas and puss in boots uh, it's of great value for me to have fairy tales from around the world which are not so well known uh, and by the time Andrew Lang got to these later um, fairy books so this uh, brown fairy book being one of his last uh, yeah he was he, he had already done you know the uh, the snow whites and and so on uh, and so he was going a little further afield and found finding some real little gems. I've read several of these stories and they're all of great quality. He's um, he's a he's a fantastic storyteller. Of course, he, these are all adaptations from the originals, um, <clears throat> as in Andrew Lang's adaptations from the originals. These are you know the folio society hasn't changed anything to andrew lang's words uh, other than adding these wonderful illustrations just those watercolor textures 
pop off the uh, the, the page. It's uh, it's wonderful. All of the uh, the pages of uh, you know the, the Folio Society quality. It's uh, it's it's art quality paper. It's very very thick pa uh, card stock almost right. Um, and uh, the the color plates are on a slightly th um, a slightly thinner. Um, a little bit more satiny paper, um, a little bit more, um, a little less rigid, right? A little more flexible. But I, I, I do mean satiny, I don't mean glossy. It's, um, yeah, you can see it, it reflects the light a little bit, right? There we are. Yes, so uh, the, the the stories are from around the world. There are quite a few uh, North African stories here, although there are also some from New Caledonia, Brazil, Germany. Uh, there's even a French one or two, I think. Um, there you go. Get the moss on those stones, the texture on the giant's arm. Yeah, th this this quality of of um, of illustration is is n not consistent through the entire series, and and yeah, this this brown one really is <coughs> a standout um, jewel <laughs> in in the entire series. Absolutely gorgeous. Some really terrifying ones as well. One thing to note is that um, if you're intending to read these stories to children, uh, I'd say that they're they're quite suitable for children. Um, Andrew Lang was uh, rather averse to cruelty, and uh, um, yeah, some of the some of the rather gruesome ends that uh, that appear in in uh, uh, the Grim Tales, for example. Um, uh, they 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 they're not not quite so cruel here in Andrew Lang's versions of them. There's a there's a fantastic preface actually. Um, oops, I turned the light back on. A uh, fantastic preface written by Adam Phillips, where he goes a little bit into that into the way his suppression and of cruelty actually comes through in 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 other ways. Um, it's very very interesting to read. There we go. Uh, that's a, that's a, a brief introduction to this to this gorgeous, gorgeous ed edition. Um, uh, if you've been considering uh, picking up a copy, I'd suggest having a look from time to time on eBay. Uh, while they can go for crazy high prices, I was able to find this particular copy on a second-hand store, uh, a second-hand bookshop uh, online. Um, called puddletonbooks.co.uk and uh, yeah just just to say you you might find uh, a, a a deal from time to time there we go so those are yep yeah, that that's that's the video i hope you enjoyed it uh, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe down below if you haven't already uh, it really helps out the channel and i'll see you very soon with another video